So today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make risotto. Um, it's not something that lots of people make because it's sometimes a bit difficult and time consuming but it's actually not. We're going to use duck today and we're going to use our port again and what we're going to do is use the port um, in the risotto to give it this gorgeous depth of flavour and a really amazing colour at the end so presentation will look really good. Um, it's quite simple actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the steps and then I've kind of finished one off so I'll show you how to bring it all together. Um, so what we're going to use is basically about three quarters of a cup of risotto is going to be enough for one person because it's it absorbs the water that's how it works it cooks by absorbing water um, and it swells as it does so it gets much bigger so a half a cup is actually going to double in size okay so that's what you're going to need risotto wise um, we're going to use some red onions um, to fry off at the beginning with some garlic we're going to get the port in there and the risotto and get it all going. Um, at the end we're going to put through some of the mange too, some ginger. Ginger and duck are a really, really nice combination. And if you think about the flavours, port is a re it's got a real depth of flavour. It's quite strong, it's quite earthy, whereas ginger is really fresh and really clean. So putting those two colours together is going to give you this amazing combination when you come to eating it at the end. And as well with the duck, it will just tie it all really nicely together. So again, just think about it step by step. We're going to use some spring onions, some basil again, so we've got basil, and we're going to use a stock cube, and I think that's kind of it. We're going to use some garlic as well, as always, so get your pan on the heat. So you just need a frying pan, a saucepan, anything will do really. There's no kind of rules with this one. Um, so we're going to use half a teaspoon of garlic with some olive oil in this pan, and we're going to go in with some red onions, okay? So get them in there, get the heat going through them. So you don't want to fry these, you don't need to fry them for too long because you're going to leave, once you get the risotto in the pan and you get your stock in, you're going to leave it to bubble away for about 10 minutes and then as that happens the risotto will absorb all the water and start to cook and once all the water is absorbed then you know your risotto is done. Okay so then next step, get your risotto rice. Get that in, and what you want to do is just get the heat going through the risotto rice. Oh. Get the heat going through. Okay? So, literally, just for a minute or so, just turn the risotto rice over through the heat, and that will get it going really nicely, okay? Half a stock cube. You can use beef, you can use chicken, you can use vegetable, whichever you prefer. I'm going to use chicken, so that goes in. Okay. Um, our port, we're going to use about a cup of port. So that goes in. You can hear it sizzle. And you'll see it will come to the boil quite quickly if you have this on a nice high heat. Okay. And what you'll find is the port will just give the risotto this really amazing flavour and colour. So when it comes, because risotto it can often look quite drab and quite boring when you're presenting it on a plate. So, but it's a shame not to cook it because for that reason alone, because you can do so much with it and you can just make it taste so, so good. So, allow that to come to the boil and risotto is done in steps. So you add liquid and you allow it to reduce, you allow the risotto to absorb it and that's how it cooks. But what I'm going to do is, we've got the port in there and then once that's all absorbed, don't let the risotto go dry. Make sure there's still a bit of liquid on it always so that it doesn't stick to the pan and that it doesn't start to burn. Um, and once the port is kind of absorbed, we're going to go in with two pints of water. Well, two pints of stock, so your stock cube and we're going to put in two pints of water. Um, and just leave it to bubble stir it every now and again for about, it will take about 10 minutes on a medium to high heat for all the risotto to absorb the water and then after 10 minutes your risotto is pretty much ready to go and what you're looking for is an al dente texture which means has a little bit of a bite to it. Not crunchy because it's, you don't want it to be raw but just a little bit of a bite to it so it's not really soft. So that's what you're looking for with risotto. Okay, so let's see if you can see this. Quite steamy. I hope you can see that. It's like just this gorgeous dark burgundy flavour or colour. Okay, so that's what you're looking for. And now you're just going to pop in about two pints of water, okay? Actually, 
actually, we're going to do a pint and a half. Okay, so I'll write that in the recipe. So a pint and a half of water, so that it's quite well covered. It's completely immersed, okay? And then what you're going to do, all you have to do now, is leave that on the heat, bring it to the boil, okay, until it's bubbling quite nicely. And then turn the heat down to medium, stir it every now and again for about 10 minutes. Just every, because what you can do now is, that's all ready, so you can prepare your duck, you can put your duck on to fry, you can prepare your vegetables. So that's all kind of ready to go, okay? With duck again, same as before, score the skin, season it, nice bit of seasoning with pepper and salt and a bit of olive oil. Cook it skin side down, first of all, because you want to make the skin go nice and crispy and you want to render out as much of the fat as possible. And then, usually for a duck, I find about six to seven minutes on a high heat skin side down, turn it over another kind of six minutes, seven minutes. That will give you a nice medium duck and then what you always do with duck is take it off the heat and allow it to rest so you're allowing the juices to settle and it will c carry on cooking ever so slightly once you have it off on a board or on a plate cover it in tin foil and a tea towel and that will lock in all the heat so don't be worried about going cold because that's not going to happen if you cover it with tin foil and with a tea towel it's going to be absolutely fine so don't panic about time when it comes to things staying warm because they will stay warm for a while so don't worry about that okay so that's based, the basis of your risotto, that's done, okay? So just make sure you keep on stirring it to stop it from sticking to the pan. And then, basically, what you're looking for is this kind of consistency. So it's still just got ever so slightly smallest bit of moisture in it, okay? So that's what you're looking for. So I'm going to get that on the heat, just to heat this up. My duck is ready here. I've already done my duck. A bit of it here is one I prepared earlier video. Um, so that's your risotto. So what you're going to do now with your risotto is a really nice way to finish off risotto. And you can choose which you want to use depending on how healthy you like to be or what your preferences are. I like butter a lot. Um, proper butter. So I'm going to use proper butter. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon to finish it off and what this does it just gives an extra kind of element of creaminess to your risotto okay and if it's looking ever so slightly sticky or like it's a bit too dry just simply add a little bit more water okay and the thing about risotto it's better to kind of stick on the side of not cooking it too much because you don't what you don't want is a plate of kind of gooeyness and uh, something that doesn't have any texture so it's better always make sure to keep it al dente so that it's got a bit of texture to it and it's nice to eat that you don't feel like you're just eating a plate of baby food or something like that. Okay so your butter will melt all the way through your risotto. And basically all we're going to do with our spring onion, our ginger, mange too and basil we're just going to add that to it. Okay, simple as that. And then again, this is just going to give a really nice bit of colour all the way through. And you'll get, you'll smell the flavour of the ginger coming off with the port, and it's just really, really nice. Okay? So, that's pretty much all you need to do with your risotto. That's it, it's ready. It's ready to go. Okay, so this is kind of what you end up with. You have this kind of light purple risotto and then all these lovely greens throughout. And that's it. Finished. Okay, that's your risotto. It might take, um, sometimes these things take a bit of practice to get them right, but persevere because it's worth it, I promise. Okay, so plating up. Give this a white. and your risotto. Just serve that on a plate, just like this. And just the colour of it is so, so nice. And then, with your duck, mine is a very teeny piece of duck because I've used it throughout the week. Um, but with you, just use however much you want, be it a 
full breast or half it, whatever you want. And then to finish off, as always, a little sprig of razzle. And that's it. That's your port risotto with duck. Yummy. Um, enjoy. It's an easy one for a Friday evening. Um, not too much time or effort involved, which is always good. And enjoy. Happy Friday.